Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to explain to you how you can fix a corrupted file, mp4 file, uh, when you try to record uh, with your Oculus Quest 2 uh, or Oculus Quest 1 with a screen recorder. But it can work for other corrupted mp4 files as well, rather than just those originated from the Quest. But it happened for me on the Quest 2 when I record a video, I tried to play it on the uh, VLC and it didn't help. Of course, what I did first was trying to search Google to Google, corrupted files, MP4, most of them didn't work. Other, some of them asked me for money, for conversion, even the free ones didn't work. The popular one didn't work, but I found a solution that might work for you. So basically I went to this website. You can see the URL at the bottom of the page. Basically, uh, I find the link to a software that was once free, but now it's paid but the free version is actually can be found and can be downloaded in various locations. So you can go directly to this website. There's actually a link, uh, which I'm going to post in a second. Uh, again, it's called Video Repair, but version 1.5. Keep in mind, do this on your own risk. I personally scanned everything for viruses. I also searched and I saw this uh, link or this specific software link in various kind of what I see as credible resources. Then I decided to actually download it and use it. And it worked, that's why I'm sharing it with you. But again, make sure you scan it for viruses and do it on your own risk. Now, if you want to buy the software, you can do this by going to this website. This is the website of the developer who made this software. So this is the original uh, URL of the developer of the software. You can actually purchase it. And this is probably a safer way to do this, unless you want to download from different locations where you know it can be risky. But again, do this on your own risk. But if you want to buy the software, paid one, the latest version, you can do this via this website. So with the, regarding the direct uh, URL, as you can see here, it's megasoft.cn, download and video repair uh, 1.0. This is the free version. So basically it's a free version and we're talking about the solution for Windows here. There are other solutions that for Linux that might work really well, they are very good ones. So if you're searching for Linux, well, search for it on the internet, on Reddit, you're going to find probably better solutions, but this is for Windows only, what I'm sharing it with you right now. So again, if you decide to download it from this URL, do it at your own risk. Once you download and extract it, you're going to see these files. Uh, what you need to do is just run the GUI script. You see GUI script.exe? This is the one where you see a user interface and you can interact with the software. All right, GUI script, you need to execute. Again, make sure that you scan it for viruses just in case you download it from, it doesn't matter which location. Make sure you scan for viruses each file you download. Now, this is what you're gonna see, all right? What we need to do here, it's not that complicated as it looks. What we need to do is first, at the top, you can see choose movie. At the choose movie, when you tap it, you need to choose the corrupted movie, all right? It is the corrupted movie there, all right? and you need to scan it. If it's repairable, you're gonna see the name inside the box where it said repaired movie clips, blank if movie was not repairable. So if you can't see it, you can't repair it with the software. If you see it, like you see here, 1.mp4, this means that my movie, 1.mp4, which is corrupted, is repairable by this software. Now, I recommend choosing a reference movie. That right side there's a button called choose a reference movie here just choose any movie that you recorded with your oculus quest 2 in the past all right just the mp4 of any movie just for a reference so it will have the software to extract the right metadata to help uh, fix the corrupted file so in choose reference movie you choose just any it doesn't have to be something from the same game just any one, any movie that you recorded with your Oculus Quest 2 via headset, choose it there. Once you've done that, choose create truncated movie button and the software will produce uh, in the output folder a fixed version of the video. Now, all you need to do is just check the file in the output folder and see if it works. Sometimes you're gonna get, you know, it doesn't work and there are some issues. I mean, you can play the file now but it's not perfect, there's some issues. If everything is fine, great. If everything, you know, there are some issues, you can still fix it. Sometimes when you bring it into a video editing software, you're gonna get some issues because something is missing, just can't read the file. The file is actually good, but it doesn't play well, for example, in VLC. So there's a way to fix it. 
Now, what we need to do is just re-encode it. There's actually a free open source software called Handbrake, uh, which is very safe. I'm going to show you the website. You can actually download it and you can actually use it to re-encode the file. And this will actually supposed to fix it. It's fixed for me. It should fix for you if you have any issues. So let's take a look. First of all, the website, as you can see, is, is endbreak.fr. Again, open source, totally free. Just download it. If you want to encode videos in general, convert to different uh, encoding of your videos, different video types, this is an amazing one. Totally open source and free video transcoder. So go to this website, download it, the Lester version. Of course, scan it just in case for scan for viruses. But again, this is a safe website and a safe software, but just in case, scan it. Now in the software, once you launch it, you're going to be see this window. You can drag a file or use the left side and choose file and bring your the, the file that you actually fixed using the previous software, bring it to this one and we're going to convert it. So this is the software. What I did was actually choosing the file. You see open source at the top, choose open source button, add your file. Then you can choose in the summary, choose the format. I just did with the MP4 with the same format. All right. You can browse at the bottom to see where to save as the file. And then what you are finished, just press the start and code button at the top. So this is it. The video should be encoded and exported to the save is location uh, that you choose with your browse button there, the top right corner and test it out. For me, it worked perfectly. And now my MP4 worked perfectly with the audio. Everything looks absolutely amazing. Everything corrected from a point where I just couldn't even play it in VLC to the point where everything just run perfect. And I can import it to a video editing software and continue working with it perfectly. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. Again, do this at your own risk and make sure you scan every file. I hope this one will help you out. I'll see you in the next one. Consider subscribing. Give it a like. See you soon. Bye-bye.